Hey, what's up, boys? Today I'm going to share with you our Battle Royale tactics. We've been playing the past days, not only one, but more than one game of Battle, uh, Battle Royale. And I figured out one thing, you know, because we had like a huge win rate, which is five out of seven games we won easily. I thought I want to share it with you. So in general, if you don't know how to play on Battle Royale, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go for most wanted, what we exactly did here at this moment, as you can see. I just skipped the part where we were opening and looting all the boxes, so this is what you need to do. So when you're playing in quads, one guy goes for the most wanted and the other ones go immediately opening up some chests. Um, what you want to do next is of course go then to the bunker because you get the bunker guard immediately and in this case I also took like a big game bounty for us. The reason I took a big game bounty for us was very simple because I wanted to make sure that we have like also a free of charge UAV in case the bounty gets killed or we kill the bounty, uh, whatever happens first. And here's another thing what you can see what we guys are really good doing is we are really like planning how we're gonna do the whole fucking thing. Um, we went into the bunker, one of our teammates already put like a, like a distraction, so in case somebody's trying to rush us or whatsoever. We go for the boots, because this is what you want to have if you play Second Battle Royale. You want to have unlimited and tech sprint. Wow, and like in this case, we got super lucky that we found immediately like three boots, and then, you know, the search for the last boots is quite easy and there fast. Another important yeah. point, he's, he's, he's yeah, the why the bunker is more important yeah. than having a loadout in the beginning. In the bunker you can get not only like guns, but you can get also like uh, durable masks, you can that, get that any kind of precisions, nice. mortar strikes, yeah, whatsoever. So this is exactly what you need to do. And here's also what Man, my teammate was just saying, oh, we should do this all the time because we were so yeah. freaking fast. So the next thing what you want to do once you have, you know, the boots, you have your gas mask, you have all your uh, precision strikes, etc. You want to go for the loadout. And this is what exactly what we was doing here. So as you can see, I'm running now the absolute meter, which is like the double shotgun for the sh for short range. And of course, the battle rifle, DTI, whatever, for, for as, as an AR, basically, for the long range. Okay. Um, and now we start playing. As you can see, we didn't have a single kill at this moment, all right? But now we start playing because we have all the utilities, we have all the precision strikes, like the perks, we have everything available, we have unlimited tech sprint, we have our loadout. Okay, the next thing, take a UAV, and you can hear it in the background, pop a UAV. That's what we do. Boom, we pop the UE and our big bounty got punched, which is great because we got a free of charge UE as well on top of that. So the next thing what we're gonna do is we take another bounty and we go immediately for the hit to get the other guys. So as you can see, one of our guys already going for the bounty and the other ones are already deploying and you know, we're just using everywhere the zips. So this is how you want to move around the big map. You want to use all the time the zips. They are crucial on the big map, otherwise you will not get from A to B very fast. And you should not stick too long at the same spot, especially if you want to go for a high kill game or you try you know, to wipe as much teams as possible. As you can see here, we was on the way to our bounty and we saw, okay, there's one guy trying to revive somebody, so we immediately decided, let's go after him. Yeah, and he has absolutely no chance against us because... That's the reaction you get when you're working with the shotguns. I hope they get buffed soon because, uh, nerfed soon because, in my opinion, uh, it's just a little bit ruining the, the game flow because everybody's just running with the shotguns and just bam, 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 and that's it. Yeah. So you can't literally not win a, a close range fight if you do not have the shotties. So ne next thing is after we kill this guy on the road, we dro drop the zip as you can see, and we immediately go after the the bounty which is here on the hill. We have a perfect communication up and running. We have all the time pings up and running, as you can see. This is what you need to do. So if you play with two or three lads, you always have to have pings. I got a message from my teammate. Hey, I need some help with this guy. I'm coming immediately. He has no chance against the shorties. That's it. And he was too much focused of my, on my teammate to get him killed, so he didn't even realize that I'm here. Oh! Oh, wow. Bounty's right on the hill. He's He's hurt. I shut up now that you can hear exactly what my teammate was saying. He's like, oh shoot, you know, I saw he died. He said, oh shoot, there is a, a bounty here on the hill. I knew exactly where I need to go. I got, 
buy station, uh, uh, buy station and I immediately deploy it just in case we need it. And I'm immediately rushing to help my teammate. Not sure if they will make it or not because we have the advanced UAV up and running, which was a mistake by this uh, at this moment, by the way. This was not planned that we popped the advanced UAV. Normally, you would like to have it in the last uh, circle to have the uh, advanced UAV up and running. So I know one guy landed here. He came basically back from the Gulag, or this is my assumption, and I'm hunting for him. And I know that he's jumping somewhere here because here was his loadout. And boom, I see him, aim on him, dead. And now I'm trying to get back to my team as soon as possible. All right. So and here's the thing where I say that the bunker is the most important thing that you need to have, because with the bunker you get unlimited tech sprint, and you see what you can do. You sprint all the time you, this is Stop. such a huge freaking cheat look i'm not the biggest battle royale player i play like 99 percent of my time i play uh, um, i play resurgence but when i play battle royale i like to win it okay unless you know i'm really just going for the joy or testing something but normally i would like to win it and especially if you're playing with four teams uh with, with a full squad so while i'm running to my teammate i know uh, teammates i know that they are in a gunfight and i need to support them so i can't support them with a sniper rifle because otherwise get into the zone and i don't have a sniper rifle and the dti will not shoot that far so what i can do is i can give them intel and this is what i was doing all the time oh, what the fuck? wait what so i was pinging them i was making sure they you know have all the time they need and now when i came i tried to get an angle on the enemies so i put the precision on them and the mortar strike just to make sure that they need to get out of the hidings Okay, now that we squad wipe them, let's utilize the zip. So yeah, you guys, if you have enough cash yeah, flow up and running, have, need oh, to have all the time at least two zips yeah, within your team. And you always jump to the next buy stations. And immediately, you see enemies as well on the buy station, so we go after them. And double team them, you know. We are playing here quads. So you can always expect there's at least one or two guys somewhere hiding. And this is what you need to do. Always double team them all the time, yeah. Do not fuck around. Try to raise your teammates. Do not use okay, flares. So if you have the money, go and buy them back so and keep the flares for the end game. Okay. And here's another mistake that I did. So the first mistake that we had was we was using the advanced UV too, uh, too, too soon. And the second mistake is I didn't uh, kept the portable buy station for the last circle. But more to that on the end. Now, we have enough cash flow. We have a UAV up and running. We know what's going up, okay? I have a Gulag entry for my teammate who was in the Gulag. I give it to him. This is what you need to do proactively. Otherwise, the uh, guys will forget it. We used our cash to load up, you know, that we get like PAs, mortar strikes, bunker buses. You need to have them all the time with you because this is what, where you want to spend your cash, okay? And you can hear our active communication. Should I position him? No, no. He, he landed on him. Okay. Teammate caught him. Now let's continue moving. Team here on look. You're dead now. You hear another communication. Team here on look. Okay, this is what we, what you need to have. You know, you need to have good comms if you would like to go for the W. But you should not over over communicate. Nobody needs to know. Hey, I found pl plates here. I found found this one here. Blah blah blah. Nobody gives a fuck about that. All they need to know is like. We have enemies on the left, we have enemies on the far side, or whatsoever, and this is what you need to do. And for information purposes, you should always go for a freaking bounty. There are so many bounties in Battle Royale, you should all the time have a bounty up and running. If you do not have a bounty all the time up and running, you're doing something wrong. If the bounty is too far away, go get a zip and jump to a bounty. And you're here again. Teammate, this is a, we're playing the first time with Luki for here. Uh, com complete random, but as a, just a customer from uh, fr uh, from Easy Game VPN, yeah. and he's like, okay, I we have the bounty, and he's like, I have a zip, and we zip, and here's the thing, we are now all engaging on the enemies. We know that they are here, but we are not dropping all at the same spot, but rather like try to separate ourselves. I have life pings, I get a position on him. I see Luke is getting down, and I get a good angle on the enemy. I immediately go after him. Okay, I'm trying to get Luke up. Cracked inside, second floor. I got extremely good comms. Hey, there's somebody cracked inside. So I'm already aware. Okay, I need to shoot. I have my shotguns up and running. I tried to center my aim and I tried to kill him and I got the, the, uh, the kill on that one. Again, comms, but vital comms. So crucial if you want to play Battle Royale. And here's the thing. And if we would not follow the whole this whole recipe, yeah? if we would not follow this tactic through the whole freaking game, every game, we would not have 5 out of 7 games wins. 
So this is what you want to have, okay? If you want to go for 70%, I'm um, once again 70% win rate, you need to have good comps and you need to have your cash flow perfectly organized. You here, okay. Teammate killed them. I have on my UAV, I see one is below. We are pushing all three of us. We are pushing for them, okay? We are not going like for a high kill game where we would like, you know, to farm them or whatsoever. No, 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 no. We are pushing them. And here's the thing. This is a 0 0.9 lobby, it's 0 0.97 lobby, if I'm not mistaken. And we're trying our best to wipe them as soon as possible, because we don't want to get into the situation where we have like seven teams in the end game up and running, because we would like to go for the win. This is, if you're a team trying to get a nuke run, uh, this is what you want to do. You don't want, you know, to waste much time, you know, uh, going for high kills. No, you just want to wipe them as soon as possible. So now we have the decision is following. We know that the zone is pulling towards us. It's incredible favorable for us. And we also know that we have a couple of guys down below. So we can hold them. And this is exactly what we're deciding. But again, we have 21,000 on cash. So we are deciding, okay, let's invest a little bit on the cash. I go for the PA. Oh, shit. We see that one of our teammates is down, which means, okay, the other guys, they know what they're doing. They also have a couple of mortar strikes. So they are not the bad players that we are expecting to have here, but this is what we have to deal. Plus, there is a third party trying to snipe us. So we need to rearrange. We need to be spreading. We, you know, we should not stick on one spot. That's why I'm rotating more to the right side, and the guys are more to the left side. You can see it. And I'm not using my PA immediately. I'm waiting that we get a knock, or maybe that we crack two or three guys, and then I try to put the PA in case to get the first or whatsoever on top of it. Also, communication is key. As you can see, we're just communicating the most required information, not just like, hey, I think we should rotate to the left, I think we should rotate to the right, oh, let's go maybe to this position. No, fact that we know what we're going to do. We are holding the team here down below. This is what we want. And I got a knock. And uh, my teammate got a knock. And I am like, okay, where, where is he knock? I'm going to position him, okay? I didn't got really like the information where he is, so I didn't put the position there because he already did it. And the precision killed him, which is freaking great. And this is exactly how you need to play it. If you play Battle Royale and you're trying to hold a team, this is how you're going to play it. You knock one and you precision it because every single kill matters. Every single kill matters. In this case, I now used my precision for one specific reason. I just wanted to make sure that those guys are not pushing us because they were getting a couple of good shots on us and I wanted to make sure, okay, how can we, you know, avoid them. So, and unfortunately we got now into the situation that Bruno got knocked down. So what I'm gonna do is, okay, I run over him to him and I'm immediately going to res him and I have a medic vest. This is another thing. If you have your perks, if you have unlimited tech sprint, you want to have as a vest okay, the, the medic vest. Just yeah. Because in Battle Royale, the most important thing is to revive okay, your sorry, teammates. Yeah. Yeah. It's not important that you only have two plates. And by the way, I'm using here the wrong loadout. I, I was oh. Normally I use like the loadout with, yeah, with uh, thermal yeah. side and with tempered. Uh, it was just a mistake by myself when I was clicking it, so it's good. All right, now we understood that the team that we were trying to hold, that they were taking the tunnel. So we decided, okay, let's go re reposition. And we see, okay, actually on, on the building that we would like to take, like the, the roof which we wanted to take, there's a team. So we decided, okay, let's jump on the bottom and go after them. And this is exactly what I'm doing. Unfortunately, one of our teammates died, but this is perfectly fine. You can't expect, you know, that when the four of you are trying to get one house, that you will all survive. So this is what you need to do. And in addition here, you can see how power, fucking powerful the shotguns are. It's ridiculous. Yes, sir. Yes. So, as you can see, I managed to get two kills, which means only two are left. Upstairs, they already did the rest of the job. Bruno managed to get uh, the, the, the Gula Queen, and he, you know, immediately come back and say, hey, is my shit safe? And we're like, yes, it's safe, so we help you. And now the whole freaking end game starts. We need now to be very careful. We, will, we don't want to overcommit. We don't want to overcommit, but what we would like to do is like we would like to crack as much people, maybe get one down or maybe even like a uh, few kills uh, while using our long range weapons. The reason for that is very simple. Uh, the plates are everywhere and you would like to get all your enemies to consume all their plates. This is the thing that you would like to do. 
have a muni. Very important, when you have a trophy and you're on a, on a, on a building, drop the trophy. It can it can really save your life. There's more to the left below. Yeah, and here here the communication of our team. I see he he's more to the left. So we know okay we need to hold them. As Unfortunately I again one of us got again a knock, so we need we to be very buy, careful. Buy be nice. You hear Bruno asking for do we have a buy? Buy would be nice, and this is exactly what, what was the mistake from my side. Yeah, that I did use the buy before at the buy station. Yeah, I think we, there, we have so much money. Okay, let's go. And you hear, okay, we have a buy, there's so much money. Luckily, we have a zip here, we take the zip. I'm going to the buy, I'm going for the buy. And we all jump, okay, we go all for the buy. We, we like to take the building where the buy is, and it's perfectly in the center of the zone. So, this is what we need to take. They're inside, they're inside. And you here comes, we have to the right of us, and we have inside as well. So, we need to, very, to be very prudent, we need to be very careful how we're gonna interact in that one. And I'm just waiting, okay, how can we do this? And we did it on the old-fashioned way where we just trade, which means one guy is going inside, if he gets knocked, the other one is pushing inside. This is like something that we have already established because we are playing quite often together, so we know exactly how we need to handle it. And again, we know, okay, there is a UAV up and running, we have a lot of cash going on, so we're gonna use this. And it's like, okay, let's go bottom. We need to go and clean them up, okay? We need to, we need to clean them up. Yeah, should we just go down the stairs and clean them up? Yeah. We should clean them up. Yeah. Yeah, all right, I'm going. And again, we need to go down. Right, we need to clean them. Somebody's down. Somebody's down. Yeah, we don't. Okay. I can't see. And as I you can see, them. I was going through all the stuff, you know, well. so we get we get outside. it rid of. It was not intentionally. Yeah. It happened rather by mistake. But hey, this is how it is right now. Uh, another thing, top, if you see some kind of utility box of your enemies, immediately another destroy them because this. As stupid as it sounds, this might save but your ass they that they are not having some additional utilities. For example, yeah, like yeah. Fermites or whatsoever. And while I was going for the place, I hear, okay, second floor, second floor, and I'm coming immediately up. They're hiding in the corners. And I see there is a huge cashback. I want that cashback. Oh, and I hear they're hiding in the corner, and I know on the other side there's someone, because high alert. I'm getting oh, no, that's, that's the other building. That's the other building. Yo, guys yeah. coming across. Guys coming across. Full yeah, team. Full team. I'm with you. So, I'm with you, Dave. And now I'm gonna a little bit to shut up and oh, let you right. like see, see, see the whole freaking show going on. As you could see, like, hey, I hear somebody's coming up, so I'm trying to get an angle on them, and we got here the first as well. Now that we know that the building is safe here, I decided, okay, let's go outside, and we're gonna go for it. Oh shit! We need to get us up. And you can oh, see that on the left wow. side we have a guy Behind who us. is running up a uh, thermal lens. So just prone, just prone, yeah. prone. Holy fuck! I'm going inside. The reason what I'm gonna do now is I'm are gonna there, take a position, and I'm going to position them immediately. I'm inside. Right on me. Uh, yeah, in the, in the two snipers in the back. The reason why I use yeah. the position here is just like to give us some air and so, uh, that we can breathe a little bit. Otherwise, you know, we might get pushed immediately. Is another medic best? We have zip lines if we need to Did you hear that? We're good, we're good. Another yeah, medic vest, giving we're information like, okay, then because we need to get revived all the time, one let's one get way, a little bit of a uh, medic vest going on. Can you pick me up? Yep. And you hear teammates saying, hey, they are playing thermals. They're smoking on purpose. Yeah. So that's the thing. We need to be very prudent here and very careful. We should not overcommit, so we're waiting and to see, okay, how it will yeah, go, like, from a zone perspective. Also yeah, here the communication is like, hey, I have a PA. Should I PA them? And the team is like, no, 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 no. Let's wait, let's wait. And it's, it was the perfectly correct decision. I have a precision. Yeah, let's precision the next house there. Here's Tash, here's Tash, here's Tash. Precision right across. So did you hear the comms? Let's precision the next house. And this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to precision that house. I got it, I got it. I position them, I position them, all good. You have you go go As you can see, the precision is giving you a, a really like the edge oh, and giving you like some additional time to resupply, to get your health up and running, you know. Be don't underestimate the precisions in the item game. You really need to have a lot of them. Uh, so what would have been great if we would have a couple of uh, bunker busters during this time because this is, this would have been the way to, to, to get them out here. And you can see here this rotation, which is freaking great. 
Perfect smokes, we rotate, we Play using the mask. And make sure that you get behind covers and played up because if if they're holding you from a higher ground, which they're doing here, right under, you have right no chance. Right and you saw this? This was perfect teamwork. One below, one below. I know I can confidently push with those shotguns. Oh no, this is not dude. a big issue. And now I'm trying to get in a position where I can replay myself. I'm smoking him, Luke. I'm still going for the look. I'm going for look. And here I have a good angle on them. So my goal here is not to get a knock. If I get a knock, it would be great. But it was rather like to distract them and give them a couple of bullets. So that they have to replay at the end of the day, which is giving us enough time to rotate again. And now, thanks to the zone pool, we go for the final kill. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Shoddy boys. And this is how you're gonna win the Battle Royale if you're playing quads. Make sure that all of you, first of all, are using VPN, and second of all, that you have a proper communication up and running. The first thing you wanna go is for the go for the mo most wanted, clear the bunker, get your tacticals, then get your loadout, and then you're gonna pop a bounty and a UAV continuously. Make sure to use the zip and get the W.